How's it going? Hey, everybody. Thank you. Welcome to uh, Queen City Comedy and our group Smells Like Ghost as they present Monster of the Week, a paranormal soap opera, a form that you will only see here at uh, Queen City Comedy with Smells Like Ghosts. Uh, just to get us started off, if you would, uh, one, share this with all your friends and your fans, anybody that you think wants to see some great improv and laugh a little bit, uh, share this with everybody. And Smells Like Ghosts needs one thing just to get them started, just to get them motivated. They need uh, a suggestion from you. Can you put in the chat uh, in Facebook now, an irrational fear that you had as a child any kind of childhood fear that you look back on now and you go oh that was kind of silly uh so if you would put that in there but you didn't come here to give suggestions you came here to see the cast so let's get smells like ghosts out here come on everybody out Woo! hey hey everybody uh i'm gonna give everybody a chance to introduce themselves tell us where they're zooming in from and to tell us a bit about the character that you'll be playing tonight, because in this uh, Monster of the Week paranormal soap opera, the characters play the uh, the actors play the same characters week after week. So uh, let's start with uh, our good friend Matt. Uh, say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. My name is Matt Iwinski from Chicago, Illinois. I play Francis, the old man of the town who is cranky all the time. <laughs> all right, fantastic. All right, uh, and let's hear from Rusty. Ah, well, my real name is Rusty Bill, and I'm in Grandview, Missouri. Uh, I play a character named Larry Atkins, uh, who is a strange, high-stressed individual that catches wild animals. He's an animal control officer. Of course he is. <laughs> all right, and let's hear from Emily. Hello everyone, um, I, I'm Emily and I'm streaming live from uh, Melbourne, Victoria uh, in Australia and I play the role of Miss Magnolia Champagne. She has lots of money, loves her hats um, and cries for no reason and everybody just ignores it. Okay, great, thank you. And uh, Matt. You've already done, Matt. I've already done. <laughs> I've already done me. <laughs> so pick another character. <laughs> Hi, I am Kat. I am playing from Houston, Texas, and I play Tracy Hemlock, who is a kind of sort of psychic and town gossip. Great, fantastic. And last but not least, Monty. Hi, I'm Monty. I'm playing Peyton. And he is the kind of guy that loves to give bad advice, and he's kind of big and loud. I am from Guelph, Ontario in Canada. Fantastic. And that is our cast. So um, in just a moment, we're going to start, and you'll hear some lovely music that was created by our own Rusty Bill. But we have an irrational childhood fear in the chat. This is from uh, Amy Kahn. Uh, Amy says, I was always afraid of the framed string art picture my parents had in the hallway. Is everybody the string string art? Does that yeah. translate? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that when they like fold, they like took the string and glued it together or something to make? Emily, you, I don't you understand. The nails, like you what do is, nails what is on it a, a board, and then you just do string between them. <laughs> art okay. made of string. It's string art. Made of string. It's okay, the, sorry. Made of yeah. string. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Well, then, uh, if you would please uh, turn off your cameras as we get started. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, smells like ghost in monster of the week oh, one second <laughs> keep vamping keep vamping please stand by we're having technical difficulties thank you bill well don't actually stand you can sit by or, or if you want to lay down that's fine with us too okay we got it go Yes, it's time once again for Queen City Comedy's improv team, Smells Like Ghosts, 
starring in the Paranormal Soap Opera Mystery Theater Thing Show. I'm your host, insert host name. It's Kale. Join us yeah. now in the episode we call, insert episode name here. Str- string Art. First, string Art. Here's what happened in our previous episode. Last week, you heard Trace Hemlock say... Why is there a rabbit on my bathroom floor? And you heard Miss Champagne ask, Who hacked into my hinge account? (laughs) (laughs) And you heard Hayden proclaim, I think that fish is the answer. (laughs) (laughs) All this and nothing more. This week on Monster of the Week, a paranormal soap opera. You know, Miss Champagne, I was reading your tea leaves again, and... I got some really good news for you. You're not getting stood up this week. A whole week without getting stood up. Are you serious, Tracy? That's what your tea leaves say. (laughs) That's the best news I've heard in like, I don't know, like two hours. (laughs) I mean, I know it's even better than finding out the town squirrel is also your second cousin. (gasps) I thought he looked familiar the other day. (laughs) You know, I wonder if he's married. I I wonder if he knows um, Francis at all. Oh, Francis knows everybody. Yeah. And he was feeding that squirrel that one time. Remember? Mm -hmm. Francis does love to feed the squirrels, but you know what? This is about you this week. We're going to celebrate you. Yeah. And all the great things that are going to happen from these great tea leaves. Well, so maybe I should, um, I don't know, log back into my dating websites. I was giving them a break for a while. It seems like a good time to get back on that wagon. Meanwhile, at the tea shop. I I just don't get it, Francis. I just don't get it. Every time I come here to drink some tea and look at my tea leaves, it looks like Betty Grable. Well, well, I don't know what to tell you there. I mean, you might want to try some different tea. I never thought about that. Maybe using the Grable Light scented mint tea is the problem. You're uh, smart. I, I, I just, I look up to you so much there, Francis, because you know everybody around and you know everything about everything. I mean, I, I've, I've lived in this town for 97 years. Uh, you you kind of get to know everybody after a while. It's, it's quite nice, actually. You know everything that's going on. Yeah, I reckon, uh, you know, that's, that's some time. And what you, you've traveled too some, ain't you? <laughs> uh, I've, I've traveled to here and there and over the, yonder and up the street and I've been just about everywhere. Yeah. I was a traveler in my day. Well, well, that's good. I just, uh, because I, I, I just got a letter from my aunt out in New York and, and she said she went to this store to buy a picture, you know, to hang on her wall. Yeah. And then it it was weird because she just started rambling about this and that and the other thing. I just wondered, have you have you ever been, uh, you know, exposed to any kind of artwork that warps your mind? There was one time back in 1965. I remember it like it was yesterday. Meanwhile, at the butcher shop. Uh, 
Hello, Tracy. Yes, I will get that cut. Not too thin this time. I'm sorry. This keeps cutting my meat wrong. <laughs> well, I know. It's just he is more confident than 50 feral hogs in an unsupervised chicken coop. He just thinks he can read everybody's <laughs> minds when they walk in the door. And we all know I am the only town psychic because my mama was psychic. That makes me at least a little bit psychic. <laughs> More than a little, a fair amount, I would say. A fair amount. Ah, thank you, Hayden. You know, it's always a pleasure running into you. Ooh, pleasure running into you as well. What are you doing today? Are you going to get into some shenanigans? <laughs> oh, always. Uh, I heard that there was a new uh, piece of art floating around town, something that Larry picked up. I heard you could see the whole universe wrapped up in that thing. Oh, yeah, something like string theory art. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so, uh, it's definitely coming for a reckon that we all need to check this out at some point. But I don't know. I don't want Larry knowing that I'm gossiping about all of this. So shh, I'm not sure he knows he's ready to tell about the new art yet. Meanwhile, at Larry's house. Oh. <sighs> yeah, you, you know, Larry, ever since you told me about that art, I just, I just have, I've had the worst feeling, the worst feeling ever. Oh, I ain't nothing. It's probably just a cold. It'll pass. Just don't be looking at my artwork. My aunt sent me this. Uh, but that, that's the thing. I mean, you, you said your aunt got it from New York. Um, yeah, why? What's, what's that to you? She could have got it in California for all I care. Back in 1965, I, I went to an art exhibit in New York. The string art. The string. It did things to me when I, when I looked at it. It's like I was looking into a black hole. Well, you're still here, so I'll still be here 97 years later, too. Now get out of my house and leave me alone. <laughs> okay then. Uh, oh, wait, Franz Francis. 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 Yes. yes. Francis, yes. you deaf old bugger. <laughs> I, I, I forgot to change the battery again. Oh. Hey, we're good now. We're good, I think. All I right, just, go ahead. I just happened to be walking by there. Are you so gonna talk anytime soon? Francis, yeah, yes. can you hear me? Uh, uh, yes, I can hear you now, yes. It's Miss Champagne. Yes, I know. Okay, you dated exactly. my mom. Yeah, exactly, yes, I know, okay. I did. Okay. okay. How, how is your mother, by the way? How's she doing? Francis. She doing? Francis, you're ignoring. I, mean, so I just happened to be walking by the house with you and Larry, and I just overheard that, that some stuff was going on with the, the string art. What you is Larry okay? He seemed to be acting really weird. You you heard about the string art oh, back in 1965. I came across some string art. It did terrible things, and I think it's having the same effect on Larry. You don't think? Meanwhile, at Tracy's psychic shop, Larry and Tracy. So what'd you want? You got an animal or something? Uh, no, I'm a, I'm just, I'm a little concerned, Larry. Uh, I mean, I've been hearing, I've been spreading the rumors around town that, you know, you have this like string theory art and I overheard Miss Champagne talking to Francis and about what happened to Francis back in the 60s and I'm just, I'm worried about this art you got. Eh, there ain't nothing to it. Come on now. I'm, I'm just the same person I always was. I heard damn rumors too. And I'll tell you what, there is no truth in the rumor that, uh, well, there is a little bit of truth in that one rumor where I talk to myself a lot and I'm a little bit more irritable than normal, but that, that, that don't mean nothing. 
you know, I just thought, I thought maybe it would be a good idea to do a reading for you with my tarot cards and, and see if we can sort this out with the psychics. <laughs> yes. Use your little tarot cards. Who cares? <laughs> uh. Ooh, I, I mean, I, I hate to break it to you, Larry, but this is looking a little ominous. There's a whole lot of like stick pens coming right at a person laying down dead. I mean, this is definitely like string art is going to get you. Oh, I sing art ain't gonna sing art ain't gonna hurt me a bit. Meanwhile at the community center. <laughs> oh my. Miss Champagne, Francis, did you hear? I have heard Larry is practically dead from string art. <laughs> I told you, I told you that, that string art is nothing but trouble. I, I don't heard, want Larry to be dead. I don't either. This is very startling. Very, very grievous news. It gets into your head. It turns you mad. It turns your brains into string. Okay, okay, okay. How about... They told me you would be here. <laughs> they I told me you. the string told... Kill it with fire! Kill it with fire! Aiden, kill him! Kill him! I, I think... You got it with a lighter. I think that's it. I think it's done. No. There's no stopping string monsters that easily. No well, way. You certainly, certainly deterred him. <laughs> Meanwhile... At Tracy Hemlock's shop. Tracy, Tracy, have you seen Larry anywhere? Saw Larry running by the shop just like 15 minutes ago. And I'm telling you, this is riskier than a red velvet armadillo cake in an all you can eat buffet. <laughs> which, which way did he go? Uh, towards, towards the community center. You gotta finish what I started. I swear, Tracy, I swear Francis has no idea what he's doing most of the time. I have to second that. Like, you are spot we, on, Miss Champagne. I mean, how long have we been in this deep conversation and Francis just shows up? I mean, we were having a great conversation talking about your last date and everything that was going right. Right? Yeah. You went on for a good hour before he came barging in on us. How rude. Well, I just wanted to say thanks, Tracy, because I have had better luck in the love um, side of things. Um, I met a lamp the other day. <laughs> Sparks were just... It was electric between us. Ah, oh, what I love to hear. Yeah, it was. It was so beautiful. We we met in that antique shop, <laughs> um, and then we had we had like a really nice little moment, and it was like, "Do you want to turn me on?" And I was like, "Sure, I'll turn you on." And then, and then I was like, "Do you want to turn me on?" And it was like. Yeah, so we were just like on, but I haven't gotten a call yet. That, you know, that antique shop is full of really delightful sentient creatures, but they be ghosting just like everybody else. I know, it's so hard. Miss Champagne, it is I, Lampy. <laughs> Lampy? <laughs> I wanted to see you again, and I searched all over the town for you. <laughs> That's the most beautiful thing I've heard in like three hours. <laughs> Thank you, Lampy. It is so good to see you again. I never want to be without you again. You'll, 
you'll never have to be without us. I'll, I'll, I'll take you everywhere, anywhere you want to go. Really? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Uh, me. Listen, people of Earth. We, the string masters from the galaxy of Fargsnarg, have come to tell you alien invaders are on their way and they look like lamps. Thank God you are here, Francis. This shit has just hit a 7.0 on the crazy scale. It definitely has, Tracy. We had we can't have these 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 string people and these lamp aliens running around our town. We can't, and you know, yeah, you you have experience with this, like how do we, wait, how do we fix wait, the lamp people theory? Yes, the lamp people are in this too. Francis, that's my boyfriend you're talking about. Hold uh, on. I think the, I can solve this part. No, no these string people. Get your boyfriend no. Lampy to be a member of the town, and then he won't be an alien at all. Oh, no, he's here. <laughs> string people <laughs> done lost me. I got no protection now. These spring people, they just done went and left me. Gosh, darn it. Hayden, I think you have to I'm kill Larry. Go home. Kill him. This has been another episode of Monster of the Week. Tune in next week to find out, will Larry ever escape the clutches of the string theory? <laughs> Did Champagne fuck that lamp? <laughs> Tune in next week to hear Tracy Himlock say, Well, you best be reckoned that's what happened. All this and nothing more next week on Monster of the Week. Great job, everybody. Great job. Great job. I could have let that outro play a little bit longer, but I cut it off. <laughs> Fantastic. And thank you, Amy, so much for uh, a great suggestion. Uh, we really appreciate it. If you uh, feel so inclined and would love to donate to Queen City Comedy, we'll put that um, in the uh, chat. We would uh, love to have some help to keep the uh, mission going and to keep the fun flowing. Uh, but uh, and to come tune back every first Tuesday to see more from Smells Like Ghost uh, and to find out what happened with all your favorite characters. Thank you so much to Smells Like Ghost. Thank you to everybody for watching and thank you everyone. Good night. Good night. Hey. Bye everybody. In route. Woo! Good job!